Hello everybody, Pharma here, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Um, so, basically what's going on is, I started the game, um, played for about 30 minutes, got a few different endings, and then turns out none of the audio captured. So, there is an option to load, I'm going to start again fresh. Um, yeah, trust me, I'm, I'm really disappointed. Uh, but it's okay though. It's okay. We're going to start over. There's a ton of different innings for this game, so it's not just going to be one of those, like, you know, oh, I've already ruined it. No, it's... There's a lot of this options. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, mm -hmm. how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, mm -hmm. as though he had been made exactly for this job. Do, 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 do. Was happy. Good for you, Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Aww. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. And now we're playing. Poor Stanley, you gotta figure that like... Just all of a sudden, you walk outside your office and everyone's gone. That's so unnerving. Okay, I've checked all these all doors. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, so yeah, I checked, I've checked all these doors before. They're all locked. So I don't have to go through that again. Okay. We're just going to go through. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. First time I did this, I went to the door on the right. And I've never actually gone through the left door, so I'm curious to see what this ending is. Okay. But don't worry, I'll, I'll definitely go back to the doors on the right so you guys can see. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave Tips for not getting fired. Talk less, Stanley do amazingly, <laughs> unbelievably office. amazing work all the time every day. Oh my gosh. I know this is supposed to be like cheeky, but I swear to goodness after working in offices for so long, these slides are a little too real. Okay. Up we go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right. These doors wouldn't open. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Okay, so yeah, there was one run where I ended up in the office and I already got the code. And the code opens this area right in here. And okay. Stanley sorry, bruh. Into the opened passageway. Okay. Here we go. Do, do, do. All right. Uh, this is so creepy. Why are red lights so creepy? Uh. 
Oh dear. Okay. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Oh. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh man, I'm definitely getting Fallout vibes from this game. Secret or entrance. You go down to the vault. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh my god. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number Holy of employees shit. in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh my gosh. This is so freaky! <laughs> Wait, where's four two seven four? There it is. Oh, there's Stanley's office. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Uh, this is creepy! No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Oh my gosh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, there's five. Where's three and four? Where's four? There's one and two. Okay, there's four. And then, where was five? Was five over here? Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> that did nothing. Oh my god. Look at this IMAX screen! And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. 
Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Oh. I'm just walking, I can't see. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Good question. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. That was really pretty. Aww. But we're not done. There's more endings. We. All his co-workers were. Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room. And <laughs> I had to show you guys. Well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The employee lounge is really pretty. Uh, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Uh, it had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Pretty! Let's go! But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. I've never went this way. Oh. Oh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible <laughs> he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've never been here. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else... Ooh, can we get down there? But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Ooh. Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone... We're gonna eat! What? Really? <laughs> and in the middle of something, do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? <laughs> I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought that would have killed me. Let's be real. Okay. I haven't been here, so I have to check these doors. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. How defiant do I want to be today? Okay, we'll go left left or right. We'll start with the red and we'll come back and look at the oh, blue. Thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so in a circle if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, 
Let me show you. Oh god. Oh, that. Uh, I can't see. Oh, did I die? Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. <gasps> yes. Whoa. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel. I actually feel happy. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. Can I jump off? No. No yeetus. Okay, dude, how long do you want me to stay here? Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm bored. In we go. No, oh, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going back, dude. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Oh, you're kind of creeping me out, dude. No! Whoa! Oh! 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 Thank God, you li no, no, no! What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this, dude? There's nowhere to go. Splat! Stanley, <laughs> let's go back to the other room. My God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Not that, dude. There's nowhere else to go. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. Yeah, it's kind of that. I just wanted us to get along. But I, I can't... guess that was too much to ask. I can't stay in it the... Looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. I can't stay in the well, observatory place. forever. Oh! <laughs> we start, isn't it? Oh, that one did it. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, how do I get back to the blue door? co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. I'm trying to remember. How do we get back to the blue door? Uh, Stanley came door on the right. Two open. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, so we went through the employee well, lounge. Yes, this room. What a be but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope, we'll come back to that. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay. And then we got on here. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've got off on the wrong foot here. I definitely want to jump sure down there and see really what that is. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing. Okay, but next you one we're gonna see what's in front of those trucks. That looks like a door to go outside. Someone you for what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Blue! <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you <laughs> through the red door. Is it gonna do it again? I still don't think we're communicating. <laughs> and walked through the red door. You motherfucker. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Give me a fucking. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? No, you the haven't. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. I can't see, dude. Oh. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. I want to go back. Balls. No, I don't want to go back yeah. to this one. God oh, it's beautiful. Damn it. If we just stay right no, wait. Where are you going? Do I have to kill myself again? Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Bruh. I don't Please, wanna Please no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. No! Oh, Thank God, you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. <gasps> now, oh. can we please get back to the other room? There, see? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. It is if really we stop pretty. Moving, we just have to stop moving. I'm bored, dude. Let's speed it up. Dude. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Yeet! Stanley, <laughs> let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Very trippy. Cool, dude. I want to get out of this. No, perhaps not. Oh, man, the noise change there is oh, really freaking me out. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Yes. That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Yes. You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Yep. Am I reading the situation correctly? Yep. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. Yep. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. We. <laughs> it's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Okay, now I want to see where that truck goes. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. All right. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yep, yep, yep. 
and Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Okay, we get back here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Yeet! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story <laughs> and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> okay. All right, I wonder what happens when you actually gone. What could it mean? When you Stanley actually cross the, the platform. Meeting. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Let's try this. When Stanley oh. came to a set of two open this was not the correct way to the meeting room and, and Stanley, Stanley knew, knew it perfectly it. well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first but eager to get back to business. Stanley <laughs> I feel bad for cutting him off. Left. Nope. Okay, let's get on the platform Stanley this so time. Bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. What? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. Does Stanley to put have your a lady? Work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, this is freaky. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one. Oh, shit. I didn't think it would cut it off. Oh, what? Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. You oh, prick! <laughs> oh, Do you actually think you had a loving wife? Oh! Who commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Oh, that fucking animatronic doll is so creepy! This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. No. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly <laughs> what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now, he's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. 
At last. Oh, this is getting meta. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, oh. he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Oh. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind control. Oh no! And down another was a yellow That's line his that desk. in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh, this is freaky! I still can't go through there. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. Ah! How could this possibly be? <laughs> In reality, I told all you! he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh, I don't want to. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? <gasps> Does he hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. <laughs> and I tried again. Ah! And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Oh. Oh, that's so creepy. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that here for right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give the video a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.